Is there any question for you after the first week who the two main receivers are? Because I'm getting the feeling that you're you're starting to see the hierarchy being set up out there. I am. And, you know, the most consistent guy, the, the, the guy that's making a play every single day in camp is Nico Collins. It doesn't matter if it's Case Keenum, if it's Davis Mills or CJ Stroud, he's making plays, he's making catches. And I thought about this, like I've got my observation observations piece up on sportsradio610.com right now. You can go check it out. And between writing that out after practice this morning and coming on with you, I've started to think like, you know, Nico's not making these plays over scrubs. Nico's making these plays over a dude in Steven Nelson that is, I don't know, inside of a month away from talking mad crap about his general manager, calling him a mofo and how a guy that, you know, wears vest can't be trusted. You know, the shots on social media, he gets a contract reworked and more money to the tune of six and a half per. He's making plays over that dude. He's making plays over Jalen Petrie. He's making plays over Derek Stingley. And we know what people are talking about Derek Stingley for, his work ethic, his attention to detail, his improvement, how his body's changed. He's put on weight. The dude's balling. And I can attest to that. The guy is dialed in and everybody is noticing that. Nico's making plays over that dude. And don't tell me that, hey, he's a great practice player because, hey, look, this is year three. The guy's been hurt. That's the number one thing against him. He has to stay healthy and do this when it counts and matters most in the regular season. But when you're doing it over a first-round pick in Derek Stingley, you have to pay attention to it. You're listening to Houston Sports Talk.